This is Aina from Planet, and I will be guiding you through the art of creating assessments. So in Planet, the first thing you do is click on the Add Content button, and you will find the assessments here in the check mark icon. And just click on Make an Assessment. So the first thing you need to do is fill in some basic information about your assessment, give it a name and a description. And if you'd like, you can also set assessment timing over here. The next thing you do is go to questions tab, and this is where you add all your questions to your assessment. So to do that, we click on the add new question button. And in client, we have five different answer types that you can create. First one being text answer. So learners just write their answer. Um, multiple choice, one selection, multiple choice, multiple selection true or false and attach file answer. And I will be creating each of these just to showcase how they work. So I will start with this multiple choice one question. I will select that. And I will add my question to the first row. What is a board? And I can annotate the question. I can give some extra context uh, in writing. I can give extra context in uh, uploading an image. I could uh, attach a video also to the question if I'd like to. And then I will add my answer options here. If I need more answer options, I can click add answer option. And finally, I need to indicate which one of these answer options is the correct one. And it's, of course, this one here. Now I can also add an explanation if I want to give some extra information for my learners. It's always a good idea to give some feedback and let them know why this answer is correct. Um, the last thing I want to do is check my points available. This is also very important. So in this sort of multiple choice, pretty simple um, question, I want to put this as a one instead of the automatic five points. And basically, I'm ready with my first question. Let's add a new question. And this time, let's add a multiple selection uh, type question. And I have a statement here. Planet can send notifications for. And I will put my answer options here again. Uh, and again, I need to indicate all the correct answers. So in this case, actually, all of these ones are correct. And again, I can indicate how many points are available. In this case, I will put three points. So one for each um, right indication. And then I click on Save. So let's add a new question. Let's add a true false question. And in this case, I can have a claim such as Clanet is an online learning platform. This is true. This is false. Pretty simple. And also, again, let's add the points or correct the points. Now, if I want to create a written answer, text answer question, that's pretty simple. I just add my question here. What do you think are the most useful Clanet features for you and your purposes? Learner can write whatever they want. I can give um, I can give points about it if I want to. In this case, it's not maybe the type of question that has a correct answer. So as long as they answer something, um, I will be happy about that. Just remember that with these text answers, as well as the attached file answers, they have to be manually graded. So Clanet doesn't automatically grade them in the same way as these um, other ones are graded. If you don't want to do grading, manual grading, another thing you can do is put a zero here. So that means it's zero points available. If the learner answers something, uh, it's automatically a pass. So in this case, it could either be um, one points or it could be zero points. Um, it doesn't really matter. And I will click on save. 
And then finally, I'll put the last one, which is the attach file answer. So here, attach your course planning template here, or you can add an essay question and give some extra information to attach the essay uh, into the question. And points available, this is all up to you. I will put again one point. And basically that's all there is in making the questions themselves. There's a few more features here. So if you have questions in a gift file, you can also add them uh, here. Upload a gift file if you have one. Uh, and another thing you can do is add new question pool. So question pools let you have different categories for your questions and you get to decide how many questions will be used from each category. Or you could even put all of the questions in, in one category and choose how many uh, questions are then being used for each assessment for each um, learner. So in that case, if you want to um, make it so that they wouldn't maybe answer the same questions, then question pools is a great option for you. So let's create a pool by giving our pool a name. Planet Technicalities. And you can see my uh, pool over here. And what I can do now is just drag my questions in to my pool. And here it says pick one question each worth five points. So in this case, I could put two questions and I can put the points to be one point. It depends really on you. And here you can see what is the total number of points uh, being assigned from this assessment. And after we are happy with our questions, we can move on to properties. And here there's a few things you can do. So you can limit the number of attempts to two, um, or if you take this check mark away, it will be only one attempt, of course. Um, you can set up a time limit. You can shuffle question order if you want. I will put that. And also you can indicate how do you want the correct answers to be um, viewed. Do you want them to be viewed at all? Maybe after each uh, answer or after the end of the assessment. So I will uh, choose this one. And also if you want to show your learner how many points they got from the assessment, you should also put this one um, on. And you can also require a certain score to pass here. So it says total number of points is four. Maybe two points out of four points is satisfactory for me. So let's click on publish. And I will, I find my assessment over here. And we can take the test as a learner just to see how it looks like. So, okay, first it shows me the attach a file. Um, let's quickly attach attach something here. Let's go to next question. Uh, I will just write something. Next question, okay, what is a board? Oh, I think I know these ones. And then I'm finished. Am I sure? Yes. And this is what it looks like. My automatic score is two out of four because two of my questions haven't been graded. Two of them were correct. And here I can see um, what I have answered. Now, if I go back to the board, open the assessment and view results. And because I'm a teacher in this board, that's why I can also uh, view the results of everyone who has answered. Um, so here I can see a status, uh, which is ungraded. I could download all attachments if I wanted to. Uh, I can download all the answers and I can save the results to an Excel. So there's a lot of different options here as well. Once there's more answers in my assessment, you can also see how the learners have rated them. So you can see interest levels, you can see the challenge and competence level. So was it very difficult or maybe it was really easy? And you can also see the score distribution over here. And if I want to grade my assessment, I click on view of results. And here 
I can see this is the first one. So I will give one point for that. I will give a point for this one. And I can also give feedback to my learners um, if that's something I want to do. And then basically just click on save. And you can see that now my, I have passed this assessment. So basically that's all that there is to assessments, making assessments, um, grading them. Please go ahead and try it out for yourself now and create some fun assessments for your learners in your course. Thank you and bye-bye.